Hi, this is Johnny. Uh, today's video, we are going to unbox this and put it into this. Okay. Uh, we already did one uh, previously uh, with this one. So we configured this with this uh, 256 image. Uh, I went and add the, the spinner and the trackball. Uh, went and download it and put it into the system. So I probably will we we uh burn the image and uh, and uh, replace the one I put on Telegram, so you guys have the latest uh, information. Then you don't have to like, you know, do this cup one step one two three after you download the image. So for those people who doesn't know, uh, doesn't want to get into it too technical, uh, probably wait for the the next image that's coming out after I configure the all the joysticks. So that means if you decide that you want to play the spinner or the the, the spinner or the trackball or the, the two stick, uh, it will be already configured. You just plug it, plug and play, okay? But right now it's not plug and play because you plug this in, uh, it doesn't work until you configure it, okay? And this will work, but the problem is uh, the button will not work on the back either. So you have to configure it on the emulator and RK, uh, retro art, and maybe also inside the, the game itself. The, okay, so we are going to do that today. And it's just showing you that I went, I went in and put down uh, the ROM name uh, because the game it only show you the name doesn't give you the ROM. So I went and looked for the ROM name and then we download. Uh, all of them so that it will support the trackball and the spinner the reason the reason it did not support the trackball and spinner i happen to copy the image from mr bun which do not support the trackball and spinner because uh and he have a real cool uh graphic so make me uh purchase a, a new a new video call which actually support his image which is a HDMI 4.3 touchscreen. Now, you don't need a touchscreen, but this does come with a touchscreen. This one, I tested, and it does work with uh, that one. It's the exact same size. It's a little bit thicker, but it's doable. You could uh, screw the screw in and, and make that work. So I probably will use this one when I build Raspberry Pi 4. So, but I have to do some uh, cutting to make it fit on the, the plastic on the, the frame because some of the the plug some of this plug because uh you need to be I need to cut one two three holes so I could plug in the power the HDMI and the audio so the sound will come out from here instead of from Raspberry Pi and then you could pretty much use uh pretty much any images image because if the one I use for Mr. Burn on this this uh, configuration, it does not work with uh, with the screen when you go into the, the game. But the track track the track mode, I, I wanted to use the the track mode. The track mode for Raspberry Pi is beautiful, and I wanted to use that. That's the reason I got into Raspberry Pi because of track track mode. Uh, so. I'm going to the next video where I'm going to try to do if I successfully make it work I'm going to use Mr. Burns image 32 gig which only have RK only and and then update it so that it will run the, the spinner and trackball and then I have to reconfigure one by one and then uh, I'm going to also configure the GP ILO okay uh, I saw a video is like four years old, <laughs> old old video, but I think the website still works. So I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna try to configure the G uh, general purpose input output uh, and configure this with Mr. Bun image. If it work, then you will have two images instead of one. This one is originally from the image came from when you when you put it in and you install it. Uh, they only come with one game, okay, and then that's it. They leave you like that. <laughs> so if you don't know anything about Raspberry Pi, you stuck with one game, 
and then they they show you how to transfer a file over somebody else uh, did a video and they show you how to transfer a file so you got a little bit more than one game but still you you don't have a whole lot of other stuff so that's the bad thing okay so let's go ahead unbox this put this together and then we're gonna do a spinner and a two joystick uh, which this is what I'm talking about the two joystick configuration and then test it out see test out one of the games see if it work and then then this image is ready to go back to the computer and uh, we image so you guys could have a copy of that all right Okay, so you have to plug this big end facing this way. And then this one will, this also same thing with this little knot. You need to face this way. Okay. There's only like one direction. Okay. So it's, it's pretty easy. Okay. Now, once you plug this in, you have to plug it to here as well. So same thing this open space right there right there open space we're gonna put that this way and this uh clip clip on is gonna be clipping on this so we're gonna put it this way all right so that's pretty much it and then we're gonna put this together like like so okay so we're going to click that corner, that little corner right there with the round thing. We're going to put it right there. And then this one, we're just going to push it down. Just, you know, like this, just close it. And then this one, just push it down like that. Okay. Uh, this piece need to be on top. Okay. You know, not 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 down like this. You need to be underneath, like so. All right. Once this done, you just take this. Oh, I got glue on it. Okay, you just take this piece and just snap onto it. Then I put this in the right direction. I got a whole bunch of glue on this. I thought this is a brand new one. Alright, let's try this side. Yeah, okay. So if it doesn't work, grab the, grab the correct direction. Okay, and just go in here. So when, it, when you take it apart, just remember which direction. I didn't, I didn't do that, so I forgot which side is which. Alright, same thing here. Uh, smallest one in the front. Just push it down and then snap together. Oh, like a whole bunch of hot glue, like a string of hot glue. All right, somehow this other side refused to cooperate. It's good. It's kind of weird that this this box is like that. I, I don't know if somebody have returned it. Hope not. Ah, right, it's not cooperating with me. <laughs> so let me take this side off. See what's going on. Make sure. It's good to just press it down from the table. 
All right, let's try it again, see what's going on. Squeeze it, squeeze it, and then press down. Got the wrong direction again. Okay, flip it around. All right, just squeeze onto it. It's weird that straight, fresh from the box, I have the whole bunch of yucky stuff on it. All right, just press it down. So once it snap on, you're pretty much good to go. Now we just need the, the power cable, the, the USB cable. Now it's pretty long. I think this is like close to, I didn't measure how long this is, but let's roughly guess. I think this is at least, based on how thick it is, I think it's at least six foot. Yeah, it is six foot because yeah, yeah, it's, it's six foot, it's roughly six foot. All right, so you're gonna plug the, this is USB-C, so it doesn't matter which direction, it doesn't matter. Just plug it in, okay? And that's it. So the first one is ready. All right, so this one's ready. Now we're gonna configure this one. Now, I have two more. Uh, I noticed that this one came with a USB port because it have a mouse and a spinner. They come with this because of this but this two doesn't okay all right so you know to make that work oh forgot to put one more stuff we need to put the sticky thing down here now it doesn't have any particular area it doesn't mark so you just roughly put it in the corner it doesn't tell you where to put it okay but roughly i mean you could put it on the four corner which i'm doing now or you could just uh Just be more, you know, accurate about precise, like in the white area. So that way, when you put it on the table, it won't slide, which while go is almost slide to the ground. <laughs> I just put it on the, all right, yeah, and then press it down. All right, that way it was it will stay still because this thing is heavy. And when you put it on, it's gonna follow the, the string, the gravity, it's gonna pull it down to the floor. Okay, so that one's done. Now we're ready to do the, the other two. Okay, I only have one box left because I bought one, two, three, four, four of this. They're like $20 each. Uh, it doesn't make sense for me to put this here because to me, this is a giveaway with the, the built, but to me it's really useless and it's a waste of money and effort, effort because they could have come up with a six button one and forget about this one. Uh, have three button here, three button here, and then uh, a star and select. They could have just take this and transfer to here and take this transfer here. So in, in some way, if you could look at the wire, you could actually cut the board, PCB board, and flip it around, have it come here and then take this, transfer here, and then you have six button, okay? So to me, this is useless to put it here because I already have a, a three button, which is right here, and then star and select. So this is just gonna be in the shelf, you know, useless, okay? And uh, if you can see, there is six pin, but you need another six pin here. So technically, you have the wire connected that go out. You could actually solder another six pin here, which there's a there's dot there. You see if I get it closer. Okay, 
there's that string connection. So people who that know how to have a machine to do it, they could actually create a new PCB board and have that connection plugged into this board because this board is only made. So you can actually use those six pin and put it over here. Okay. I mean, you have to weed through this little bit and then move this one more to this side so you can move this up. So um, I already put everything together. But yeah, you, you could actually make a joystick and you have space, you have space over here, see? You have a space to put select and stop. You can actually take this board, take this board and move those two right here. And and then probably solder the wire yourself because they the the wire is soldered by you know indent to the board, so you cannot really do that yourself. So you could use a wire and solder it, and then make this a six button plus the select and start over here. You got space for select and start, and then this you could move it. You can move it further this way, so you have space to. Uh, if this one has space, this one should have space. Let's put it that way, okay? Because those are the dot right there. And then you just put three more button. I mean, it could it could be done. You could actually drill three three more hole. And then solder it, solder it, and put the pin in there like this. Put the pin in there and solder it. Okay. So if you don't want to use this board, you could create your own little board that you could buy from Amazon, and then solder them using the same same tic tac button. I call it the tic tac. It looked like a tic, like a flea tic, <laughs> tic, tic tac, tic uh, button. And then those are the same thing, tick tack button that, that make this click click click. And I really I really wanted to replace it with the uh, uh new new way new way toys joystick. Cause I, I bought a whole bunch of Street Fighter. I really want to play replace it so bad. Because after you play a while it's very stiff and it, it kind of put a torn worn worn and not worn tear, but it it make your finger hurt after a while. But yeah, the button is very loud. I I would have replaced those those with a different thing. I mean, this every we we modded RK one up, correct? So why can we modded this? He even encouraged us to do it because this need to be modded to make it better. I mean, the idea is the idea is there, okay? Idea is there, and there is uh enough space in here to make it to USB port. And not not depend on the GPIO because a lot of image do not support GPIO. A lot of image do not, and so it's very hard to find any images for GPIO, especially vertical. And I'm trying to create that for you guys. So, but yeah, like I said, this is really useless to do this. Now I have another box that I could open, <laughs> and then do some surgery with it, and put this button and this button and combine them together. <laughs> now, I was suggesting on Facebook, I saw somebody actually did it already. Somebody actually have put these two together, make it one, and uh, it's on a Facebook. So if I find a Facebook link, I'll, I'll put it down there so you can look at the video. And the button is softer, that he's using a, a silicone button, so it's not softer without all this clicking noise. And, uh, yeah, you could buy a whole bunch of this clicking thing. I, I actually have a whole box of it that is not as clicking loud as as loud as this. Okay, this is it's very loud. Whenever whenever I'm playing at night and my wife is sleeping, I'm making noise. <laughs> Too much noise. But yeah, I got another box. That's the reason I bought uh, two of them because I have two boxes. But now I'm kind of... Now I'm kind of wondering that I should I just uh, 
buy more of this more of this because this is one set you know all this is one set I have this is whole set so this is one set so I got one one two three four four of this but I did not buy uh, I buy one set of this but I didn't buy and I bought another another uh, for Wiseberry Pie for but I did not buy uh, another set. I did buy a whole bunch of this. Now, my suggestion was to put this onto this right here. Now, I think there is enough space to do that. Yeah, I mean, you got a lot of space. Look, if you put that here, see that? You got space to put another board right here with a, with a spinner and a trackball, okay? Because the trackball, you just need to do like this, left, right, you know what I'm saying? Spinner, turn, you know what I'm saying? You could actually like have a spinner and you could go, ooh, ooh, ooh. and then the joystick's on top, ooh. you know what I'm saying? I mean, I would do it. That's why I was encouraging that guy, put it here, put a spinner in a, in a trackball. So you could go, you could take this, uh, if I could put this on. There you go. Ooh, there's no speaker here. Ooh, ooh, put it right here. You got a lot of space to put a spinner. You could actually take this board and go cut it. <laughs> Seriously, cut it. And then so we solder it right here. And then drill a hole. And drill a hole. And then put this and hot glue it. Then you have a spinner and a trackball. You are all set, a full set, man. You will have a wheel and a trackball or you can actually move the spinner more in the middle and then the trackball right here because the only thing you need to do is go that's it that's my advice you know for glenn's uh, retro show why not i mean to me you got a whole thing ready to go and then instead of using uh dsi i found i found one for you guys man Get a HDMI 4.3. Alright. Get HDMI, this one. There's the barcode. Scan it. HDMI. IPS. All direction is good. All image is good. Put this in here. You're all set. And use a USB. Forget about the GPI. Your USB. You already got USB May. You just need to implement it to, to the to the back of the system. If not, I'm, I'm gonna tear the whole thing out and remodel it. Because yeah, it's it's a beautiful this and with the artwork and everything is beautiful beautiful. But yeah, if we if we were just to uh do that, that'd be great. I'm not gonna bore you guys uh configuring the the, the spinner and the joy and the and the joystick. I will do a final image, final video once it's, a, once it's all configured, because you guys already seen it on this video. I'm just gonna do it on this one, and this one, make, make it work. And then once it, the, the image is all configured, you just unplug it, plug it in. Now, remember, once you plug it in, it becomes primary joystick, okay? And then your button up and down will be this way, because it doesn't support second joystick, playing side by side. At this moment, it does, but you have to configure another joystick. Because the pin that they're using are very similar because GP, I don't know. Because I know that when I plug the, when I plug the spinner and I'm trying to play a game, a special racing game with a spinner, I have to use the button here for, you know, to, to, uh, just, uh, how you can I, assess, uh, to run the, to go forward and, and break and gas okay i have to use the paddle here for gas and stuff instead of here and uh so just fyi all right so once this image is uh, finished i will do another video this video is mainly showing you unboxing put it together and uh, uh it's getting too long i don't want to go ahead and start to bore you guys with the setup uh the image will be everything will be set up for you with all the joystick so the only thing i have to do is just plug plug in and then and download the image burn it and it should be all ready to go uh and also the i fixed the trackball and spinner 
so you should able to go to uh, trackball and play all the trackball game and all the spinner game okay all right stay tuned for the the final video on this image and this build uh, we're going to move into raspberry pi 4 shortly and then we are going to build a raspberry pi 4 with a different decal which is going to be ninja turtle all right later